Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, AVP figure, and the figure I'm showing you guys is uh, Grid Alien, and uh, this is by NECA, and uh, let's open this up and uh, take a look at the figure itself. And here's the picture from the back of the packaging, and uh, here's a little bio, you're welcome to pause and read that. And uh, other figures are available, uh, we have the regular warrior, uh, the grid, and then also a concept. Uh, the concept, uh, I saw it at Toys R Us, it doesn't look that good because the paint was kind of peeling and um, uh, it wasn't, I was hoping that this whole thing was uh, made out of a kind of a whitish uh, translucent piece, but it's not. It's, it's basically a translucent piece with uh, white painted on it and uh, it's starting to peel so it doesn't look that good that's why i didn't pick it up otherwise it would have been a really nice one to have but uh, i end up didn't get, i end up uh, not picking that one up all right and here we have grid alien outside of packaging and um so let's start off uh saying that uh, if you own a few uh xenomorphs then you kind of expect uh, you can't know what to expect as far as uh, articulation points, but uh, they did add a few more, a few extra ones on there uh, to make it even better. Um, now, so let's go over articulation first. <clears throat> so base of the neck right here, there's a ball joint, and then the shoulders are on a ball hinge, and uh, we have double jointed elbows, then uh, ball hinge wrists, and then uh, they also added articulation around the uh, fingers, the, the two fingers. Uh, there's a hinge joint there, and then chest, there's a ball joint, and then the ball hinge uh, hips, and uh, we have double jointed knees, and uh, ball jointed ankles, and also toes articulation. And the tail itself uh, also has a uh, rotation joint right there, and uh, this whole bit here, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, running on a wire so it's a bendy wire so you could manipulate the tail however you want actually the knees are on a hinge joint down here and then uh, up here is a ball hinge so you could kind of give them a little more uh, sideways uh, rotation like so so you could kind of see um, you could bend the legs all the way over like that which is nice and for the shoulder, here's how high uh, you could uh, throw his arm up uh, since it's a ball hinge joint. And uh, there seems to be a uh, the the socket where this uh, joint is sitting on uh, has a has a good uh, gap where you could actually you could actually see he can uh, raise his arm above a little above 90 degrees. So that's kind of neat, and it's not hindered by anything either. So that's kind of cool. Really cool. Oh, and then he has an articulated mouth, and uh, the tongue does stick out. And just like so. So let's take a look at that grid. It's pretty clean. Uh, a little too clean. Because I believe uh, in the film, there should be uh, a little dripping here and there. Because uh, it is supposed to be blood that's dripping from that uh, from the net. So... There's no uh, uh, dripping of any type whatsoever, and uh, it's just clean lines. And same thing on the shoulder. Here I was able to pop the head off, and uh, here you can see there's the ball joint. And uh, most likely I'm gonna um, create a little notch on the back of that neck section so his head could uh, look up a little bit more so he could kind of be crawling so he could do that crawling position instead of uh, just looking straight because I kind of want his head to go up like that so he's uh, walking on all fours here I got him on uh, some sort of a kneeling pose. Um, articulation wise it is a really good range. Uh, here you can see the, 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 the knee. He could bend uh, all the way back which is nice. And um, But uh, the, the hips are a little bit loose and uh, same with the, with the knee joints. Uh, those are a tad bit looser than I wanted to so if you um, if you're shaking him, uh, he does tend to wobble a bit around the legs. 
And here's a good look at the back side of Great Lady. And the tail. I like the fact that uh, he has a shade of uh, blue on him, just like how he looked uh, in the in the movie. I'm not be able to pick it up, but uh, there is a hint of a uh, bluish color on him. And here's a little comparison between uh, two other xenomorphs. We have the dog alien on the left, and then the other one is from the video game uh, Alien Isolation. A uh, big chap from that game, and uh, there's Grid. Overall, if you're a fan of uh, of Xenomorph uh, on Zone, then you definitely want to get this. And if you're a fan of uh, AVP, the first movie, and uh, you'll definitely want to get this as well. And uh, even if you're just a uh, average um, average uh, sci-fi NECA collector, uh, I say get this too, uh, because uh, if you have any um, predators, you could definitely pose uh, grid with them and uh, do a little battle scene whatsoever. So yeah, it's a it's a very good uh, figure. Um, joints are a tad bit loose. Other than that, everything else is uh, really good. I'm happy with it, and uh, yeah, there you go. There's NECA. Uh, AVP uh, uh, grid alien and it uh, costs about 20 to tw uh, between 20 to 23 dollars I want to say because I got it at uh, 21.99 at the uh, Toys R Us so uh, depending on uh, which Toys R Us you go to uh, the price may vary so there you go thanks for watching and uh, here's a close-up at the Xenomorph's mouth and uh, you can see the top lip uh, you can see it's raised a little bit Kind of resemble that he's getting ready to attack someone. And uh, usually um, when we get Xenomorphs uh, from NECA, the, the top lip is usually down. And it's nice to see something a little bit different from them. Kind of neat. Alright, uh, so while I was taking some photos, I've noticed that uh, this um, Grid Alien, uh, as far as the uh, range of motion, it's, uh, it's actually really, really impressive. Um, look at him, he's crouching down, knees are bent and everything, and uh, he can still look up naturally. And uh, it's just, uh, I am very, very impressed with this figure. Uh, their other ones are just as good, but this one seems to be a lot better. Uh, maybe it's the, the, the hips. It could, uh, could spread a little wider, or the legs could move up a little bit more, and uh, the knees, uh, that, that knee joint right here, that ball hinge knee joint, uh, helps a lot, where you could uh, rotate the, the lower leg a little more to, to balance out the, the pose. Uh, yeah, this thing's really good, and the toes articulation, um, yeah, even though I went over all the articulation points already, but uh, still, uh, this is a really, really impressive figure. Just want to mention that.